Okay, so welcome back. So at this moment, we'll be talking about a technique uh, using the 570ES calculator, a very important function also of the calculator, which is much useful in the RME board exam, and that is the colon function. So for those of you who are not familiar with the button or the function itself, so it will it is found in this part of the calculator. Okay, so we just use the magnifier for that so it so that it will be clearer for you okay so this one so do you have the here the colon so in order for us to access this function so it is written in red so that will be the alpha function so you must press first the alpha alpha then you have the uh, the press the button for the colon and on your screen so you will have the uh, colon appear on your screen on the input side of your calculator screen okay so we just clear that one first let's um let's close this modifier okay so the purpose of the colon is for you to uh, input all of the formulas or all of the calculations you need in which the first um, the answer of the first calculation will be needed to the second um, calculation, the second uh, solution, and is also needed to the next solution. Okay, so that is how it, it, sometimes it is called chain chain solution. For example, if you have a problem, for example, the given is 30 volts, then you have given is 30 volts so we have here the voltage okay then the the resistance is 3 amperes at uh, 3 amperes no 3 ohms and you need to find the power okay so the best way to do here is to first to find the current by using this one and to solve for the power by using the voltage the given and the current that you have solved by using this given here the voltage and the resistance so you could say that uh, current is equal to v over r then our i here is will be also used in solving for the power so we have p is equal to v over i so basically now we have the colon it's here so the current in this first uh, calculation is our answer now on the second on the second calculation this one the second our current is also being used to solve for the required or the power the power which is the required of the problem so our answer here the i is also used here as one of the part as as one of the uh, the quantity used to solve for our power so if you are going to input that one in our calculator by using the colon function okay so first we could have uh, we could uh, we first substitute the given so we have 30 we will use the other color of e pen okay so we have 30 over the resistance is 3 then use the colon function so this one has the answer the answer of this one is our i so in the other part so we have the voltage 30 then it will be multiplied by our answer i so the answer of this one so that will be answer okay and we will be the the first um, the first answer 
if you will be pressing the press at uh, the equal the equal button the press at uh, the first um, answer to appear will be the answer of the first calculation then the second answer to appear after pressing again the uh, equal sign is the answer of the second solution which is now the power okay so let's try this one and also we will try to solve this one by using the long method okay so first let's use the colon function okay so we have so this is a fraction so 30 divide 3 then alpha colon you have 30 times you have here the answer answer so the first one that is the answer of this one so this is 10 so let's just write this one here 10 amperes okay then the second one 300 so this is the answer here 300 watts and this is now the answer of the problem okay so we will solve this one using the long method okay so our solution so first we will solve for the current i is equal to v over r so we'll have 30 volts over 3 ohms so this will be equal to 10 amperes so 30 divided by 3 so check then solving for the power so p is equal to v over i so you have uh, the power is 30 volts times times 10 amperes okay and the answer for that one is 30 times 10 that will be 300 watts so you have the same answer but the solution is much um, easier so for the colon function so the solution is much shorter much easier while on the long method so you will be substituting each of the given then solving again so that we will become up, we will come up with the answer so that's why this function is very useful okay so we will be um, solving uh, more example for this one okay, let's just move first our white our board okay so here okay so let's calc let's write first the problem so calculate maybe let's just use the add text function of this software add text okay where is text Like okay, Okay, so we have this problem just put so calculate let's move this one higher okay so calculate the resistance of a 200 watts a 2000 watts 300 volt toaster okay so let's have here our solution so the very first thing to do is to 
uh, write the given. So our power is 2000. Our power is 2000 watts. Then our voltage is, so let's use the E. Our voltage is 300 volts. Then our required, so we are required to solve for the resistance, okay? Required to solve for the resistance. So in order for us to solve for the resistance, so let's analyze first from the given. So the given, we have power and voltage. So from this one, we can solve the current. So then by having the current, and also using again the voltage we can now solve for the resistance so we could first use the formula p is equal to v times i then solving for i it will we could solve for the so before i that will become p over v then from ohm's law so ohm's law So Ohm's law, so we could so Ohm's law that is Ohm's law equals to V over R. So we just write this one for those of you who forgot what is Ohm's law. I is equal to V over R. So if we are going to solve for R, so R is equal to V over I. So our answer here will be used in the next calculation or the next solution or in the next formula in order for us to solve for our resistance so we just write the given so we have 2000 watts so we, just, we need we need for us to write the watts because the we cannot input the unit in our calculator then 300 volts colon so that is V over I, so we have our V is 300 over I. So our I is the answer on this first um, calculation here. So we have over answer, okay? So we we'll now use our calculator. So we have 2000 over 300. So just use the right um, arrow for us to go back to the level of the fraction okay so alpha colon you have 300 over answer so the first result will be the value of our current which is equal to 6.67 so we just write this one here 6.67 amperes then the next one will be our answer so press again the equal sign and that will be equal to 45 so the answer is let's just write that one in the pen is 45 uh, no, 45 ohms. So the unit for resistance is ohms. And this is our answer. Okay? Then we will have again another example. So, let's move this one upward. Okay. I believe we, have, we are on the limit of our whiteboard. Or our board. Okay, so let's just get one. So let's add text. Okay, so we have
Okay, so we have this one. The power factor of a system taking a load of 3,000 um, 3, watts is 0 0.8 lagging. So we need to find the reactive power of the system. Okay, so let's have the solution. So first, we will write the given. So we have the power, which is equal to 3,000 watts. So let's, let us assume that our system is single-phase system because if three-phase, the, the formula will be different. So let's just assume it is a, a single-phase system. So the power factor is 0 0.8 lagging. So need for us to write the lagging because we we are not uh, solving this one for the angle of the uh, the voltage or the power so we just trying to find the reactive power so we, we are required to find for the reactive power which is Q okay so in order for us to solve the Q we must remember that power factor is equal to the ratio of the real power over the apparent power now solving for the apparent power using this formula so we have s apparent power is equal to the power the power over the power factor okay so your apparent power the unit for that is volt ampere and in order for us also to solve for the reactive power so we need also to remember that apparent power is equal to square root of square root of the real power plus the reactive power solving for the reactive power so using algebraic manipulations we, we could come up with the formula reactive power is equal to the apparent power minus square root of the apparent power square minus the real power square and this one we could write this one here in as part of our calculation so we have square root of s squared minus p squared okay so as you can see the the answer of the first calculation will be used on the second calculation so we could use the colon so the colon function okay so first we will write the given so we have 3000 watts over the power factor so 0 0.8 okay then colon so square root so we need for us to write the equals and the required so the answer the s the apparent power will be used in this calculation so this will be answer square minus so you have the real power at 3000 watts square okay so we now use our calculator so the first calculation that is 3000 over 0 0.8 then colon we have square root of our answer square minus 3000 square so first answer will be 3750 uh, 3, so that will be our apparent power 50 that will be in volt ampere and the second answer for the second calculation is 2250 okay 
2,250 var. Okay? And this is now our answer for the problem. That is how the colon function is used. So, it is very useful because no need for you to write longer solutions. Just write the given, just write the calculations, input the calculations, and you will come up with the answer. Okay? So, thank you for watching, and as always, keep on studying.